Welcome back everyone to Betson Group Live. As you can see today, or soon we'll see, we're doing things a little bit differently. So instead of me having one guest, I have three guests. So we're gonna do a customer service panel and we're gonna get to know three representatives from the customer service team, all representing different areas within customer service and all representing different countries as well. So this is an episode for you who is thinking about moving abroad um, and want to, to know more about what it's like to work at Besson Group and what it's like to start a career in customer service. So let's start with just going through the group and for us to get to know um, your name, where you're from and what you do at Betsen Group. So we can start here. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Dan. Uh, I'm a team manager and uh, I'm from Sweden. Okay. Um, my name is Tanya. I'm from Norway, from a small town called Levanger uh, and I'm a senior agent. Yes, my name is Harold. I am from Denmark and I uh, work as a responsible gaming analyst. Okay, good. So a good mix. Um, so before we g get into things and start getting to, to know you guys a little bit better, let's start with you, Dom, because you're the team manager. So can you just explain to us all what we do in customer service, just to start there? Try to ensure a really good experience for the customer. Uh, we're an in the entertainment business, which means that it should also be fun to contact us. We should not only solve your problem, we should also solve it in a really fun way. And, and uh, it's also about improving our product, giving feedback to, throughout the company uh, and ensuring that the customer experience is as good as it possibly can. Yeah, and we have quite a big customer service team. Um, so what kind of teams do we have in customer service? How is, this, how is it structured, Don? So we have a bunch of different teams doing... Uh, we have, we have uh, uh, Harald, who's working for our responsible gaming team. We have our loyalty team. We have our... Uh, complaints team. We have our. Uh, we have many different teams, uh, uh, and um, it's structured in a way so that um, the team really can focus on their own tasks. Yeah. And why is customer service important to our business, in your opinion, Don? It's the heart of the business. Uh, it's how we uh, communicate with our customers. It's how we can make a difference in selling ourselves. So. Um, yeah. 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 So Tonje, you started as a customer service agent. You moved abroad from Norway, started as a customer service agent, and now you are a senior agent. Mm -hmm. um, what has your career journey been like? I started as an agent in customer service, which is a good starting point in this industry. Uh, you learn a lot and they push you hard. And I didn't know anything about iGaming. And that's what's so great about this, because they learn you everything you have to know. And I worked six months in probation. I had a break and I came back and a few months later I became a senior. So what are your responsibilities, Tonya, as a senior customer service agent? I teach and help the others, especially the new ones. Yeah. Um, I'm always available on our chat platform where they can contact us if they need help, uh, solve a query with the customer, add bonuses, campaigns, I also get tasks from my team leader, which I have to follow up on. And I will also be the one they reach out to if the team leader or manager is not there. It's not available. Okay, so mm -hmm. as a senior agent, you mentor uh, and take care of the new starters as well. Yeah. yeah. And what's your favorite thing about your role? Um, there's a lot more to do, uh, more challenges, which I like. Um, I like to help others, so I'm just glad I can teach them what I have learned throughout my time here. Yeah, great. And Harald, so you relocated from Denmark to Malta. You started working for the Danish customer service team and today you are a responsible gaming analyst. Um, tell us about your career journey at Betsen. Yes, yeah, so I uh, came down to the island back in the middle of 2018 um, and that was right when the World Cup in football took place. <laughs> uh, so I basically I came to the right timing of, the, of, of that. So I worked as an agent for around one and a half year and uh, then I got promoted to a senior agent in the early 2020 and I worked for that position in around a good year's time and uh, now I have moved over to our responsible gaming uh, team. Okay, so quite an interesting career then as well. 
Great guys, thank you for that. And and Dawn, I'm curious, because you've been here, I hear rumors that you've been in Malta for a very long time. <laughs> so uh, how and why did you decide to move from Sweden and, and into Malta? Mainly, uh, I had some friends here uh, uh, that worked for Batson actually. <laughs> and uh, I went on vacation down there, discovered the island. It was uh, the weather, oh my God, it's, <laughs> it's amazing here. Yeah. And uh, um, that was really good, what yeah. got me down there. Yeah. And what has your career journey at Betsen been like so far? Started as an agent, a customer service agent, became a senior agent, a team leader. Then I became responsible for our English team as a team manager. And then I took over our Polish and German teams as well. And uh, currently I'm, uh, I'm taking care of our Swedish, Norwegian and Danish team. Okay, wow, what an amazing career. Starting in customer service and then growing into a team manager. That's amazing. Um, Tonya, what was the relocation process like for you? Because you, as I said, relocated from Norway to Malta. How does the relocation process work at Betsy Group? I was really surprised how much they help you relocate. Uh, that made me feel more safe. Uh, they pay and book your flights. Uh, they pick you up the airport. Um, you get to stay free for four weeks in one of their apartments. Mm -hmm. So they would just drive you straight home. <laughs> and you get also discounts at real estate agencies, yeah. so they can help you uh, when you're about to find your new place. Yeah. yeah. So that sounds like a very smooth process. The yeah. Betsing Group helps you relocate from abroad, abroad to Malta. Yeah. So Tonya, you landed in Malta, you know, a new country, a new job. How was the onboarding process like into Betsing Group? Uh, we had three days of onboarding uh, where they talk about the company, the different departments. This was also told by those who run those departments. Mm -hmm. uh, after those three days, we had uh, the start training starts and you have training for two weeks before you get out yeah. or, uh, with others. So that the training team teaches you everything you need to know and you don't need previous gaming experience, right? No. No, <laughs> I did not have any experience, so yeah. You're living proof of that. I guess yeah. all of you are, are kind of living proof of that. No previous gaming experience uh, needed. And Harald, for someone, you know, sitting at home, maybe in Denmark even, watching this episode and they're thinking about moving abroad to get some international work experience, what would you tell that person? Mm. So basically what I would tell them is go for it. Um, from my perspective, I had absolutely no experience or knowledge about iGaming. No Malta, uh, I've never been to Malta before, uh, before I moved down here, so everything felt completely new to me. Uh, so in that case, you don't need any experience in the industry to, to work here, because uh, once you come here, then uh, you'll be trained by awesome colleagues and, uh, and team leaders all around, and they're always ready to help you if you need uh, any assistance with anything. Yeah. So if you want to challenge your comfort zone, and you want to try out to work in an international working work in environment, then I would say go for it. It's worth a shot. Go for it. Okay, I like that. <laughs> Dawn, is there anything that you wish you knew before moving to this little island in the middle of the Mediterranean? Should have gotten my Malta ID sorted from the start. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's uh, something common for everyone that gets here. So do that if you're right. <laughs> do that before you come. Okay, that's a good tip. Um, let's go around and I want to know what your favorite thing about Malta is, because that's, that's important. So Don, what's your favorite thing about Malta? Uh, the weather. <laughs> the weather. Uh, yeah, the weather for sure. It's a multicultural environment as well, but, but uh, being outside during winter time is quite special. <laughs> and very different from, I guess, you know, your life back in Sweden during the winter months. <laughs> yeah, no cleaning of cars in the morning, no shuffling of snow, <laughs> yeah. uh, which is great. Yeah, so the weather. And what about you, Tonya? Your favorite thing? Um, there's people from all the world around the world, so it's different nationalities. Yeah. So yeah, the meet a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. The international environment, okay, I like that. Yeah. What about you, Harald? Well, obviously, I like the world as much as the others do. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also like to point out the uh, the history and the places you can go to here in Malta, uh, such as, for example, the Letta or uh, Dina. Very, very unique places in my mind. Okay, history. Okay. And Dawn, um, why work at Betsing Group, in your opinion? Because you've been here the longest out of all of us. Why, why Betsing Group? I think it's... Very important when, when you start in a new industry as, as iGaming to, to join a company that is uh, safe and takes its social responsibility. Mm -hmm. 
uh, and uh, you, you can trust that Betson does that. Um, it's also a fun environment to work in. Uh, there's a lot of things happening around the office all the time. There's special surprises. There's uh, one day it can be cupcakes, another day it can be smoothies. <laughs> uh, so it's uh, there's always things happening. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that summary. Thank you for that. And Dawn, uh, whilst I have you here, um, we've won a few awards within customer service, especially the EGR Customer Service Operator of the Year, and we won it six years in a row, if I'm not mistaken. Why do you think we win so many awards in customer service? We really have an environment in which talent can grow. Uh, we have uh, really uh, good teams uh, and good uh, um, people. We managed to retain a lot of good, good people as well and talented people. It's uh, key to, to all the time improving. Uh, we win awards, which is super important, of course, but uh, to me, it's even more important to improve all the time. Yeah. And I think that I, I've shared that passion together with my colleagues. Yeah, great. And at Betson Group, there are three values, passion, one Betson and fair play. So I'm curious, you know, what you guys think of these values, or even if you have a favorite one and what they mean to you. So maybe we can start with you, Don. Uh, what's your, your favorite value and why? Fair play. It's important that we, we as I mentioned before, take our responsibility. Mm. Uh, and I, I honestly feel like we do that. So um, that's the most important one to me. Yeah, fair play. And what about you, Tonya? Uh, my favorite is passion. I'm really passionate about my job. Um, I want to do a good job. And I know that will get me far to yeah. when it comes to my career. Great. Yeah. And what about you, Harald? <laughs> I would say hashtag one bad son. And I would say it really shows in our in our team uh, as uh, we uh, we always make sure to help each other out when uh, whenever we come across any any difficult cases. Uh, and we are also ready uh, to give out a helping hand to any other department, especially the support uh, department, where uh, they are the ones who are in con direct contact with our customers. So if they need any help with uh, with uh, something responsible, gaming related, we are ready to help. Yeah. Great. And, and Harald, um, why should someone join the customer service team in your opinion? <laughs> Well, yeah, as I mentioned a little bit of it earlier, that's that, uh, that's an, it's an international work environment uh, and uh, you will have great training and support once you start here from day one. You also, you'll also get uh, awesome colleagues and if my, my view is they're also very good friends of mine. Uh, and you will also have a very good uh, career progression as well. Uh, yeah. So you can you can go to all these uh, different areas, uh, whatever which, which whatever has your interests. Yeah. Uh, and then there's also the great benefits that we have here at Betsun, uh, such as uh, events, activities. There's also the gym allowance, uh, free lunches as well. But uh, yeah, some of the benefits are something that we need to wait until the, yeah. the pandemic is over. Yeah. So quite attractive benefits as well. Exactly. Okay. Great. And Don, you're the team manager for the Scandinavian team. Uh, I know that we are recruiting a lot right now for the customer service team. Um, what kind of roles do we have vacant at the moment? We're looking for uh, agents from, uh, so customer service agents from, from Sweden, from Norway, Denmark, Finland, Germany. Um, there's always new openings. Uh, um, and we make sure to post them. We also try to respond swiftly as well. Yeah. And what kind of person do you look for when recruiting? You know, what, what's the perfect candidate? I'm looking for someone who, who's motivated to do, uh, uh, to do their best. Uh, uh, we are here to help. We will give you feedback all the time. We will, you will not feel uh, alone or, 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 or uh, uh, not supported. You will always be supported here. So we're looking for people who is ready to, to receive feedback uh, and really to become the best customer service agent they can become. Okay, great. And speaking of recruitment, um, you know, there might be um, people watching this episode who's curious about the recruitment process and wondering, how does it work at Betson if I want to apply for customer service? Uh, Tonya, in your opinion, how was the recruitment process when you applied back in the day? Um, what can a candidate expect if they apply? I applied uh, and I got an email uh, not long after saying that uh, they will move forward with the interview process and I had a phone call yeah. with them and after they had to call two of my former employers and then I had to do a test just to see how I would chat uh, and I had a video call with my former team leader mm -hmm. and yeah. 
And then you got the offer. Yeah, then I got the offer. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, great. So quite a smooth recruitment process as well, yeah. it seems like. Um, Dawn, what is a typical career path for a customer service agent? I mean, we see here today, you know, how you can grow as a customer service agent, both in 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 all of your paths. But what is a typical typical career path? We have a couple of good examples with urgent yeah. widows here today. Uh, <laughs> myself and these two as well. Uh, uh, Tonya is a senior agent, so so that's a, a really normal path. You get more connected to the company when you become mm -hmm. a senior agent. Mm -hmm. you, you deal me more with with uh, uh, report more issues and things like that. Uh, and you have Harald, who's in the responsible gaming team, uh, which is uh, another uh, another team you can join. Uh, it's um, for the detail-oriented person. Yeah. And uh, uh, we also have uh, our uh, team leaders. We have our loyalty team. Uh, I think one of the best things with with, uh, with our uh, customer service is how well we are structured. We have really good teams, so, so there's many possibilities to join those teams in the future. Yeah, great. Um, and Tonya, so you have progressed from an agent, as we've said today, to a senior agent. Uh, what are your goals and, and where do you see yourself growing in the future? <laughs> mm, um, I like to coach, so mm -hmm. hopefully I can maybe lead a team one day. Yeah. Um, I will work hard, so I will see where it takes me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And finally, I want to go again um, <laughs> through all of you and, and um, ask you to describe the environment in your team with one word. It can be quite difficult to just pick one, but uh, you, can, you can try. So, so Don, how would you describe the environment with one word? One word. Uh, passionate. Passionate. Okay. Tonya? Friendly. Friendly. Yeah. And Harald? Insightful. Insightful. Okay, I like that. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for answering all my questions and for giving the audience a bit more of an insight into the customer service department at Betson Group. So if you watched these episodes before, you know that I always end with a few fun questions um, to get to know the guests a little bit more. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different because uh, there's so many of you in the studio. So we're going to do a little bit of a Betson quiz. OK, how do you feel about that? Let's go. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. So I'm going to give out these buzzers, first of all. So you all have one each. Yes. Perfect. And we have a few questions. It's going to be based on Betsen and information about Betsen. And when you know <laughs> the right answer, you click your, your buzzer. Can I see if they're working? Yeah. OK. <laughs> they work. Remember your sound, because that's your sound, OK? okay. So as quick as possible, and, and uh, the winner gets, uh, gets a lot of fame. Okay. OK. OK. So what year was Betsen Group founded? Tonya, you were first. 1963? Yeah. yeah. 1963 is right. <laughs> How many nationalities are in the customer service department? Harald was first. Uh, 23. 23 is right. So we have 23 different nationalities in the customer service department. So next question. How many people work in the customer service department? Don, you were first here. 200. 200. Around 200. That's correct. So it's pretty even now. You all have gotten one answer. Uh, good job. Okay, so this is a little bit harder. Um, we have offices in this many locations. 19, 15, 8, or 11? Don. 11? 11 is correct. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Next question. In which location around the world do we not have an office in? So Kiev, Copenhagen, Vilnius, and Budapest. Tonya? Copenhagen? Yes, Copenhagen. <laughs> <laughs> correct. OK, it's, it's, it's still quite even here. This is the last question. Um, so let's see the score. You have two. Tonya, you have two mm -hmm. as well. And you have one, Harald. One, yeah. So it, ca it can be an even, an even score here. <laughs> so let's see. So which B2C business did we acquire in 2020? Betsafe, Leo Vegas, Gig, or Race Bets? Tonya. GIG? Yes, Gig, Woo! you are correct. So we have a winner. Congratulations, how does it feel? Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Perfect. 
Oh my God, this was so much fun. Thank you so much to you guys. I hope you had a blast here at Betson Group live. Uh, and thank you for answering all of my questions. <laughs> thank you for having us. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for having us. And thank you to you guys for tuning in yet again to another episode of Bets and Group Live. If you have questions about customer service or if you want to apply to our customer service roles, you can check out our careers page and read all about them there. And as we've seen today, starting in customer service can be a great way to start and build a career in, in gaming. So thank you again and see you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.